So before I start cutting random shapes into anything I can find lying around, I wanted to make sure that the machine is at least square. It looked like the frame is square, but the middle assembly is not. Weirdly enough, if I take the z-axis out, it seems to be pretty much spot on. So I thought I would file down the inserts where the bearings go, as they are quite a tight fit and I thought they might be actually pushing it out and warping the whole assembly a bit. Put it all back together and perfect! Until I put the z-axis back and it was not perfect, not perfect at all. The obvious next step was to take it all apart and to grind down any small imperfections I could find on the premise. So I put it all back together and it was worse, way worse. I think I broke it. Okay, new plan. So turns out Marlin has a feature called skew correction. I modeled up a basic 130 by 130 square in Fusion 360. The circle is just for fun. Once I've got the basic design done, go to manufacturing select the curve sections for milling and also select the uh, origin point just to make sure it starts at the right spot simulating it just to make sure it's not doing anything weird and the tool is just supposed to represent a pencil next i imported it into repetir host Set up the machine with paper and the pencil. And let it draw. Once it's finished drawing, I can measure the opposite corners and as you can see these are not the same. Now that I've got these measurements I can go into Marlin the configuration.h file and search for skew. This will bring up the section for skew correction. And all you really need to do is replace these values with the values that you measured for those opposite corners. Upload Merlin to the Rambo board and draw again. To be fair, I had to do this a few times and each time just putting in a new value and it kind of got closer and closer until eventually they were the same. Great, let's take it for a spin. I'm going to be using this 850 watt Ozito router. This is literally the only thing I can find in my neck of the woods. For the milling bit, I'm using a 6.35 or quarter inch single flute high speed steel bit. Right, time for first cut. 